OK, let's revisit uh, uh, standard level chapter 7K part 2, uh, binomial distribution using a calculator. So let's revisit the earlier question that we had, um, where we said we've got a spinner and we've got a third chance of landing on A. You're going to spin it five times, and what is the probability that you're going to land on A twice? Now remember, um, a certain chance means one. Uh, if it's not at all going to happen, it's zero. So it's going to be something between zero and one. Now, if we look back at our, our notes, we know that the answer to the of probability of getting heads twice is 0.329. Okay, so, um, so now we can just do this using our calculator. So we know that we're spinning it five times. And we've got a third chance of success. So on my calculator, okay. So if we want the probability of getting it twice, we're going to do uh, p with the random variable being uh, two. Okay. So I'm go on my calculator. I just hit second var, arrow down, binom PDF, enter, and these values here. So we're going to have a five because that's how many times we're spinning it. A two, because this is equal to two. And let's do this on the calculator. So um, here's my calculator. I just see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm gonna hit second var. Second var. Now don't get confused with a normal PDF. It's binome PDF. So I have to enter error down till I get to binome PDF. There's PDF and CDF. We'll talk about CDF in just a minute. And then so binome PDF, I hit enter and then I get to the side and then so now I'm going to hit five and then the comma button and then I'm going to hit one third and then the comma button again that's just above the seven. And then I'm going to uh, pr press 2. And then I'm going to press Enter. And I get this is the probability that I'm going to get exactly two heads. And that's the same answer that we had uh, from the other day. But this time we just used the calculator. OK. So what about what's the probability of getting less than three um, a's. I accidentally wrote heads. I meant a's. So this less than three is uh, p parentheses x less than three. Now the calculator doesn't do less than. It only does less than or equal to. And that's when I'm going to use the CDF instead of PDF. So um, so if I'm going to do the probability of less x less than or equal to two, I'm going to do the same steps except I'm going to use CDF instead of PDF, and um, it's going to be exactly the same. So here this was the probability with my random variable equal to 2. Here this is the probability with my random variable less than or equal to 2. So let's follow these steps. Um, second var, arrow down, to binom CDF, enter, I'm going to hit 5, comma, 1 third, comma, 2, enter. And then I get this value here. Okay, you might want to hit pause, watch this a few times, take notes very carefully. The pause button is your friend. Okay, so uh, that's the now. This is how you do it if it's less than. Now, um, what if I wanted to do greater than? Find the probability uh, that I get more than three a's. Okay, so uh, that would be p x uh, x is greater than three. So to get more than three a's, now the calculator does not do greater than a number. So in order to figure out something greater than, I've got to do one minus. 
So um, <clears throat> the probability of x being greater than 3 is going to be the same as 1 minus the probability um, of getting less than 2. Okay. So, um, and this is the answer from the previous page, right? We know that answer is 0 0.790. So I do 1 minus 0 0.790, and then I get this answer. And the nice thing about it, oh, don't forget three sig figs, that 0 at the end is significant. And the nice thing about this answer, I can check in my, my work that I did on the other assignment, the probability of getting more than two heads um, is there. Okay. Okay, so now let's look at some other things. You are taking some random test for some random class, and you're going to wildly guess on this multiple choice test. Um, you have five choices, A, B, C, D, E. And to pass this test, you need to get a 70%. So what's the, what's the probability that I'm going to pass this test? OK, so in order to pass, um, my random variable has to be greater than 7. Okay, the test has 10 questions, so um, pretend I've got these are all the different questions, right? And I need to get, uh, need a 70%. So I have to be x is greater than or equal to 7. So these numbers are all greater than or equal to 7. So if this is greater than or equal to 7, uh, and remember, the calculator doesn't do greater than, right? So it has to be 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 6. So let's type that in the calculator and see if we get this answer. So um, it's less than, so we're going to use, what are we using, CDF? Yes, we're going to use CDF. So second var, arrow down, MCDF, I'm going to type in 10, because there's 10 questions, comma, um, it's, there's five choices. So I, the chance of getting the right answer is one fifth, comma. And um, it's, we need to get six, enter. And so this is the chance of getting um, less than or equal to six. Pretty high chance, right? And I need to do one minus this answer. Let's try that again. 1 minus that answer, and I get this. Now, e to the negative 4 there, that simply means 10 to the negative 4 power. Three sig figs. You're pretty unlikely to pass a test if you randomly guess. Th that's pretty obvious, right? So this is important to write down in your notes. You're going to refer to this in the future. So PDF is when you want a specific probability, like the probability of getting A two times. CDF is when you want less than a probability. Check your answers uh, when you put them into the calculator and um, with the answers uh, from the solution. You want to make sure that you're, you're putting it in correctly. And um, that's it for the notes.